What's up guys? I lost eight pounds in four days. And doing what? Um, I'm gonna tell you exactly what's okay. going on now. I'm also put my coffee. You, are you doing well? I'm gonna tell them about me first. Um, it's kind of a, another vlog, I guess. But uh, while you were away last week, we both started our carb cycling. Um, whereas we're eating low carbs, I ate no more than 60 grams of carbs per day up until what is today, Saturday? Last night, um, I was even at probably a caloric deficit. I was probably around 22. 2300 calories at the most um, just fats and proteins lost eight pounds Friday morning I was eight pounds lighter than I was Sunday um, so we both carb loaded yesterday and I actually probably went into a surplus of calories carb loaded on like potatoes um, thin crust pizza um, a tortilla had a tortilla. It was a little corn tortilla. A little corn tortilla. <clears throat> really, other carbs, uh, as far as carbs go, that's probably it. But I had quite a few potatoes. Mm -hmm. I did not count the carbs. I did not count calories yesterday. I just, I ate. And I had some ketchup, which that was probably the first bit of sugar I've had all week. I haven't had hardly any sugar or anything. And I'm a sweets person, and I didn't have it. But uh, this morning, I was actually two pounds heavier than I was yesterday morning, which is normal. I'm probably retaining some water from the carbs, uh, but I feel full. My muscles, my body feels fuller. But now today, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go right back to low carb, I think. I don't, I was gonna cycle, but I, I just think I'm gonna do a, uh, maybe a, a refuel meal. And I'll let you guys know how that's going for me. Else. Well, you just looked at me. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta have the go ahead. Be like, it's okay, honey, go ahead. I get permission. Yeah. We know who's boss. Right. <laughs> so, when did I start? Saturday or Sunday last week? I think you snuck it in a couple I, days ahead of me. Two maybe. days ahead of you. But here's what happened with me, okay? I'm, my goal is to build muscle, and I had no carbs. Any. I take that back. There's veg there's carbs and vegetables. There's carbs and things like Yeah, we don't count those. Clean eating kind of stuff. I don't count those. I don't I couldn't tell you that I had sixty gram of carbs or less because I don't count them. I just look at the clean eating aspect. I had vegetables, I had meats, I had like boiled eggs. Um, I was at the hotel, I had the continental breakfast which had boiled eggs. One day I had like a little cup of yogurt. Um, so anyway so, just to make that simple, you made a conscious effort just to reduce carbs. Yeah. Without counting them, you Without just naturally, them. you just right. made an effort to reduce carbs. So, no breads, no right. potatoes, no rice. And that's no. easy to do, guys. It's easy. Yeah, very that's easy an easy way do. to lower your carbs. I went to O'Charlie's one day and had a sirloin steak, a piece of salmon, asparagus, and a salad. Yeah. So, you know, that's obviously clean eating. Um, lots of protein, but listen, I killed all of it. I ate it every single bit, and I don't, you know how much I can, cannot eat. <laughs> can't believe it. So anyway, my goal was to build muscle, but I leaned out and got super, super lean, but my weight stayed the same, which means I'm building muscle. That's right. So, I'm not so, worried about the weight loss aspect of with it. With that said, maybe we should, um, let give people a reason I mean to know what kind of what we're doing here which we we share our fitness lifestyle pretty much is yeah. what what our channel is about um, we don't share too much personal stuff just our, our fitness lifestyle yeah. um, for, for those of you that want to follow our journey and see how a couple 40 year olds are working towards staying young forever that's right They're almost 40 year olds and it, it's not costing us anything but supplement <laughs> I, you know, and right now I'm just down to a pre-workout. It's yeah. not a necessity, but I do enjoy the supplements. Uh, but I mean, my goal is is always been. It seems like is always to get bigger and stay leaner. I mean, that's what 
my long-term goal, obviously my long-term goal is just to stay as healthy as possible as right. I age. But as far as my goal for maybe next summer, I would like to put on a little more muscle and I would like to come out as lean as I've ever been. Mm -hmm. I've really never done it. I've talked about it, talked about it. I've even talked about it in some of these videos. Uh, last February, I was probably the leanest I've been, probably around 7 to 8 percent body fat. Uh, but I'd like to do that again and maybe even get down a little bit less and maintain it and uh, have put on some muscle throughout this winter. So Next year will be my year two and I'm excited because yeah. I'm still changing. Yeah, you are still progressing. Yep. Yeah. That's, I guess, your goal too, muscle and leanness, yeah. right? That's Everybody's got different goals. So it depends on where you're at in your journey. You might be 100 pounds overweight, and by summer you want to be 20 or 30 pounds lighter, and that's great. And that's what uh, we're here for, to motivate you for that and to help you reach that goal. If there's anything we can do, if you're watching this and you're, you're in a journey, uh, just ask, guys. I'm a personal trainer. Uh, I don't have all the answers, but I'll find the answers. I'll even redirect you to some other YouTuber that does have, have the answers, right. absolutely. We don't have all of them. No. But. Anyway. Shout out to all those who subscribe, watch, and all of those on their journey for their own personal goals and have been successful. And those who want to be successful. YouTube. Good job, y'all. Thanks for watching.